Hey, it's a regular guy. Man, we're about to try some stippling work. It's something I've been messing with uh, not too much. I mean, only a few times here recently. And um, I gotta say, it's starting to come along all right. But uh, here, I'm just gonna get right into it and show what we got. Let's start with the preparation. Right, preparation, look, I just got, this is a standard wood burning kit. I just picked up it, I, I don't know where, Hobby Lobby or something. And it comes with different heads and stuff like that in there with it. I even got some extra heads that, uh, cause this is the second kit that I've had that, I had one that messed up or something, I don't even remember. I mean, they're pretty cheap, but uh, they work pretty good. Stuff that I've done previously, the um, first thing I ever did for real was this uh, G43 right here, the Glock 43, the one I carry. It has kind of a dragon scale pattern on it. I mean, yeah, some people, you can make fun of it if you want to. It's my first one. I mean, the texture, I mean, it feels really good. It feels better than it looks, we'll put it that way. That's the one I carry every day. Uh, I started off, and I recommend starting with some kind of a, uh, this is just a training magazine that I had. I was just testing different patterns, like a cross hatching, kind of the dragon scale, just kind of a, a scratched pattern up here. And then this is where my thumb is, is like a random big dot pattern. I mean, the random big dot is good because look, as you see, it's got small dots and big dots just all randomly in it. So that way, if you mess up, you don't really notice it very much because it's just kind of randomized. So it, it, you don't really notice what's going on. You get kind of just another little scratching pattern and uh, you know, just different stuff I was trying out. I ended up doing this uh, AK here not too long ago. It was a very slick handle right here, I gotta admit. And I put the random big dot pattern on it, as you see. It's kind of like raindrop pattern, because it was super slick, and um, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Uh, some people might like the way it looks, some people may not like the way it looks, but to, the, what I'm about to do is do an AK magazine. You see, we got a pretty slick AK magazine, just a, a standard Magpul magazine. All right, I showed you that the magazine was empty and I got it put in there. All right, so basically, you just want to take a pencil right where the magwell is and draw. That way, hey, you just got a little line on it right there. You don't have to worry about it. It will come off because you don't want the stippling up on the magazine up on the top part of it. So I got that set up. All right, now let's One get One thing going. I forgot to mention there, the heat. Uh, I put my heat on about the mid-level right there. If you put it too high like that, and it's still warming up, so it's fine. Or you put it too low, it doesn't work as well. Too low and you either have to hold it too long or it doesn't melt the plastic adequately. Uh, if you turn it too high, it just kind of melts and turns stringy if you have it like way up here and just kind of, uh, so also you will always get a little bit of stringiness on it or whatnot. That's the reason I recommend having some kind of little brush just to, every little while you'll feel it need to clean the head of the, uh, the tip off over there, just like, and then it's cleaned again, but it's just sitting there warming up. Uh, all right, now we're really, let's get on this magazine. Some people talk about doing a border or something first thing. I'm just gonna start doing it for a little bit and then I'm gonna cut off and I'll bring you back and show you where I've been. I'm gonna start off just on a little border. I hold it for about, I don't know, one, one. And I'm just having these dots, these dots touch each other and I'm just kind of doing a border around this because I'm gonna leave this mag pull. You're like, well, dude, how much pressure do you put on there doing it? Man, pressure is a hard thing to say how much pressure. I would say about twice as much as writing a pen, if that makes any sense. And if you mess up, you can just kind of press in there again. If you press too long, it will kind of melt and turn stringy. And if you just press too short, watch this, if I press just quick, it doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything. So you gotta press it again. So you're trying to get just a little bit to lift up or I guess more or less to preference, whatever you like. Now, this is a tedious process. So I'm not gonna have you watch me do the whole thing. I'm just kind of cut in and out. I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures on how my progress is going. So first picture is the standard magazine. Take a look. All right, we were talking about pressure and I was just doing a little more progress. I'm just showing you on the back how things are going. Uh, I've kind of got a little border out here on the back, but just to show you how much pressure I'm pushing on here, let me zoom it in just a little bit, make sure you can see it. It's like, I'll just do kind of in a row, a little dot. You holding it for about half second because I have it at the temperature I showed you kind of right in the middle. I'm just having these dots kind of touch each other. And you're like, well, they look like they're spacing apart. Well, that's just because some of these lines are in here and I'm, I'm kind of using the lines to where they are just for more grip. So it's gonna break up the pattern just a little bit in here. And like I said, they don't have to be in a totally straight row. I don't know that I'm gonna do the random big dot where I go back and put the big dots in it. I, I may just end up uh, using some big dots on some other places. And I haven't really decided. Uh, I've, I've been working on putting some lettering in there on the sides, like drawing it in with a pencil and stuff like that. And I, I'll show it to you more in a minute, but you see how I'm, I'm not pressing really hard, about twice as hard as you would when you're writing with a pencil. 
and let's see, get one more there. You see how that's it's starting? Let's see if I can get this thing to come into focus a little bit better there. Uh, there we go, into the light. See, I'm just filling in any holes and stuff in there. All right, that was just to give you an example. So when you see it kind of far away, you're like, what, what is he doing? So you'll so see. Where are we now? Um, I've got uh, I got the letters put in there. I got the stippling done. I got it done on the sides right here, um, front and back. I think I'm actually going to take the the big um, dot head and do right here because these still feel pretty slick. I mean, it feels good as it is, but um, I don't know. You still there's a lot of slickness and it's it's kind of indented there. So I think I want to make it a little bit more. This could be a big mistake. Well, we'll see in a second. All right, I'm kind of in the final stage. I had to put some of the big uh, dots in here somewhere. So I'm putting them in this slick surface. I notice when I grab it, it feels good here, but it feels super slick. So I'm, and like I said, I had to get the big dots in here somehow. Instead of mixing them, I'm going to put it on the high points like this. So I think it's going to come out all right. Um, I, I got it done on the other side. It's a, uh, you can still see it's a differential between the little dot and the big dot pattern. And it also makes the, uh, the letters stick out. So Pretty happy with it. I'll show the final product okay, in a minute. That, that was a monster, to be honest. That took like several hours. I, th I thought I'd have that done in less than two hours. It's probably three hours worth of work. I mean, I took some breaks. I had to go do some errands and stuff like that. I mean, I ended up doing the big dot pattern on the flat areas there just to mix in some of the big dots, the little dot in the low areas uh, that would make the, the lettering stand out and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, you can like it or not like it. I mean, uh, would I have done it next time? I don't know. I might not uh, put the big dots on there, or I might. Um, I don't know. But uh, either way, you know, it's kind of what I went with, and uh, it is what it is. Okay, for just a recap, you saw that took me like two and a half to three hours of, of work of starting and stopping and doing errands and whatnot and getting phone calls. But uh, okay, I got to admit that was uh, that took a little longer than I thought. I mean, does it provide a good grip and stuff? Yes. I mean, is it customized? I mean, I like it, and I'll probably keep messing with it. But that's uh, that's the gist of it of how you mess with uh, stippling, especially when you start out. I mean, I don't consider myself an expert on it, as you see. Some of my pattern was a little off, but. Uh, um, I mean, hey, it provides a good grip. It's also customizable. So, I mean, that's just a regular guy's opinion.